by Rose's Cafe, serving fresh, hot breakfast tacos seven days a week. Tonight, breaking news as we come on the air, an arrest and major break in the brutal stabbing murders of four Idaho college students. A SWAT team swooping in 2,500 miles away from the crime scene, taking a 28-year-old man into custody, charging him with four counts of murder. Authorities tracked down the suspect to his parents' home in Pennsylvania, a graduate student studying at Washington State University. The case gripping the nation for more than a month, but now some relief for that Idaho community on edge since the murders, reaction from the victim's families, and what law enforcement sources are now saying about DNA technology in the case. Team coverage tonight, Kana Whitworth in Idaho and Matt Rivers in that Poconos neighborhood where the suspect was captured. Our other major headline tonight, New Year's Eve storm threats, two big systems hitting on both coasts. In the west, 13 states on alert for heavy mountain snow, torrential rain and nasty weather also moving east just in time for the new year. Our team tracking it all. Six years of former President Trump's tax returns now made public after years of legal battles. What they reveal about his profits and losses, foreign bank accounts, and how he paid no taxes in his final year at the White House. How Trump is responding tonight. Southwest Airlines resetting and resuming normal service tonight after nearly 16,000 cancellations since the holiday travel meltdown began last week. The airline CEO speaking exclusively to ABC News, apologizing and promising the company will make good on passenger reimbursements. The finances of embattled Congressman-elect George Santos under new scrutiny. Tonight, questions about how he spent campaign money, more than $70,000 in air travel and hotel expenses to represent a small district on Long Island. What Santos is now saying about his political future. And tonight, New York City's Times Square preparing for a massive New Year's Eve crowd. A million people expected to watch the ball drop in person. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening. It's great to have you with us on this Friday night. I'm Whit Johnson in for David. And we want to get right to our breaking news as we come on the air. The arrest of a 28-year-old man in Pennsylvania in connection with the brutal murders of four University of Idaho students stabbed to death in their beds more than a month ago. A specialized team of state troopers and federal agents taking Brian Koberger into custody early Friday morning. He's facing four counts of first-degree murder and one count of felony burglary. A Washington State University graduate student was staying with his parents in this home in the Pocono Mountains area, more than 2,500 miles away from the crime scene. Police sources telling ABC News they tracked him down in part through DNA technology. The violent deaths of those four college students rocking the tight-knit community of Moscow, Idaho. All were reportedly sleeping during the attack. Police receiving 19,000 tips and interviewing hundreds. Authorities also searching the suspect's apartment in Pullman, Washington. He now awaits extradition back to Idaho. And tonight, reaction from the victim's families. ABC's Kena Whitworth leading us off from Moscow, Idaho. Nearly seven weeks after the stabbing deaths of four college students in Idaho, a break in the case that has gripped this nation. Police arresting a suspect, Ph.D. student Brian Koberger. In conjunction with the Pennsylvania State Police, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, detectives arrested 28-year-old Brian Christopher Kohlberger in Albrightsville, Pennsylvania, on a warrant for murder of Ethan, Zena, Madison, and Kaylee. In a chilling twist, police say the alleged killer studies criminology at Washington State University. In Pullman, his apartment just over the state border. 15 minutes away from the crime scene. Investigators tracking Koberger 2,500 miles away to the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. Our Matt Rivers is there. So it's in this gated community just behind me that a SWAT team, including the FBI and Pennsylvania State Police, swooped into the suspect's parents' home around 2 a.m., taking him into custody. Sources telling ABC News the home was under surveillance for days. Our Philadelphia station, WPVI, talking to a neighbor who saw the arrest but didn't want to be identified. They had it in handcuffs, and we did so when the, the team took him out and put him in the car. That was very scary. Sources say police linked Koberger to the crime in part through DNA technology and tracked through his car. I will say that uh, 
we have found an Elantra. Investigators have been searching for a white Elantra that was spotted near the crime scene that night. Koberger graduated with a master's in criminal justice from DeSales University in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Back in May, someone using the same name posted on Reddit looking to recruit volunteers for a research project aimed at understanding how emotions and psychological traits influence decision making when committing a crime. Tonight, the father of Kaylee Gonzalez telling us when this suspect gets to Idaho, he will be waiting. This guy's going to have to look me in my eyes multiple times and uh, I'm going to be looking for the truth. Hi. Welcome back. Kaylee Gonzalez and Madison Mogan last seen at that food truck shortly before the murders. The two who were lifelong best friends were stabbed to death in the same bed. Their roommate, Zana Kernadel, and her boyfriend, Ethan Chapin, stabbed in another bedroom. Two other roommates on the first floor surviving the carnage. Tonight, Ethan Chapin's family saying they were confident police would solve the crime. They say we're relieved this chapter is over because it provides a form of closure. However, it doesn't alter the outcome or alleviate the pain. We miss Ethan and our family is forever changed. Did anybody do their chores today? Just weeks before the murder, this close group of friends were seen joking around in this TikTok video. The crime sending a jolt of fear through this town. Many students fled campus as police patrolled around the clock and investigators faced intense pressure to solve the case. Kaylee's anguished parents have been pleading for the community to turn over any surveillance video. We just want this person found so bad. Since the beginning, police calling this a targeted attack without explaining why. And tonight, the motive remains a mystery. What I can tell you is we have an individual in custody who committed these um, horrible crimes, and um, I do believe our community is safe. Words many people were waiting to hear. Kena Whitworth back with us now in Kena. We know authorities want to bring that suspect back to Idaho. How soon could that happen? Yeah, it could take quite some time. Now, he does have an extradition hearing on Tuesday. Authorities investigating this case still have not found a murder weapon, but they do have a white Elantra in custody. They have also executed search warrants at both his home and office in Pullman. And while they're still putting the puzzle pieces together here, Whit, today's news has allowed this entire community to breathe a collective sigh of relief, Whit. A community, Kana, thank you. Turning now to weather and rain threatening New Year's celebrations on both coasts. That big rainmaker just hours away from moving into the Northeast, leaving scenes like these in New Orleans. And Buffalo is still digging out from that deadly blizzard as officials are now worried about flooding. Let's get right to Danielle Breezy from our Nashville affiliate WKRN in Times Square. And Danielle, it could be a New Year's Eve washout in some places. Yes, we are watching for that as we are tracking two systems that could bring rain for New Year's Eve night. Let's get you to the first one. This is over the northeast. It's going to bring rain into the area. Of course, Buffalo, where they saw all that snow, flooding and ice jams could become a concern. Here in Times Square, it will be wet but also mild for New Year's Eve night with rain hoping to clear just in time for midnight as that ball drops. Then we're watching a second system with 13 states under storm alerts as an atmospheric river slams the west. The timing on this one looks to bring heavy rain tonight into New Year's Eve morning into the Bay area and then it will spread south into LA for New Year's Eve night bringing rain there not to mention two to five feet of snow in the mountains not out of the question that same system moves across the country as we head into next week so we'll be tracking it all with all right we'll stay on top of it Danielle thank you to politics now and a House committee releasing six years of former President Trump's federal tax returns thousands of pages of documents revealing he had bank accounts in foreign countries and paid relatively little in the years before and during his presidency. Tonight, how the former president is responding. Here's ABC's Mary Alice Parks. After years of legal battles and questions about former President Trump's personal finances, tonight House Democrats finally making public six years of his tax returns from 2015 to 2020, shedding new light on Trump's huge fluctuations in income, often reporting financial losses in the tens of millions. In 2016 and 2017, he paid just $750 in taxes, far below what an average teacher would pay. In his final year in office, Trump paid no income tax at all. Trump, unlike every other president since Nixon, refusing to voluntarily make his returns public, claiming he was under audit. 
Well, I'm not releasing the tax returns because, as you know, they're under audit. But the committee found that not to be true. And the IRS, despite a mandatory rule that a president's taxes be reviewed, failing to audit Trump during his first two years in office. Any faith we might yet have that Trump was audited fully and fairly, let alone expeditiously, as the IRS manual requires, uh, that's out the window. The committee also identifying a number of red flags they think warrant examination. Trump had multiple foreign bank accounts, including in China. He also paid foreign taxes while in office and claimed foreign tax credits. And he made several loans to his children. Trump responding today saying the documents show, quote, how proudly successful I have been and how I have been able to use depreciation and various other tax deductions. Mary Alice Parks joining us now. And Mary Alice, I want to turn to another headline out of Washington tonight, the January 6th committee releasing new transcripts. And you're learning more about interviews with key witnesses. Yeah, what was with the committee's interview with Ginny Thomas, wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. She told the committee that she regretted texting with people in Trump's White House after the election, and she claimed that her husband did not know that she was communicating with them. She did say that she hoped Trump would challenge the election, and she talked about being there on January 6th on the mall for that rally. Of course, many critics have said that given her communications with people in Trump's White House, Justice Clarence Thomas should have recused accused himself from Trump-related cases. Whit. Mary Alice Parks with that late reporting out of Washington. Thank you. Next tonight, after a disastrous holiday travel meltdown, Southwest Airlines appears to be back on track. The airline CEO apologizing and promising to reimburse frustrated passengers. And federal authorities are demanding that the airline make things right. ABC's Alex Perez back on this tonight from Chicago. Tonight, Southwest Airlines' operational reset appears to be working. All but a few dozen flights taking off today. The airline canceling nearly 16,000 flights in recent days. CEO Bob Jordan telling Wit on GMA. There's just no way almost to apologize enough because we love our customers, we love our people, and we really impacted their plans. Amy Sethman and her family plan to visit relatives for Christmas. Their flight from Denver to Seattle canceled after they boarded. Their rebooked flight canceled too. We're not going to get those memories back. We're not going to get that time spent with family back. Those cancellations, she says, cost her family about $2,500 in out-of-pocket expenses. Sethman submitting her reimbursement claim today. This, as Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says his department has received thousands of complaints. We will penalize Southwest as we would any airline if they fail to meet what is required of them to take care of passengers. Jordan pledging Southwest will make good on this issue and adding. There'll be a lot of lessons learned in terms of what we can do to make sure that this never happens again. And with Southwest says they plan to speed up their efforts to modernize their IT and other systems so they can prevent a meltdown like this in the future. Whit. Alex, thank you. Now to Representative-elect George Santos under fire, less than a week away from being sworn in as a member of Congress. But stunning revelations and questions about his personal and professional life continue to come to light, including new questions about the money he spent on his campaign. Here's ABC's Aaron Katursky. He's been caught in a string of falsehoods about his education, his family, and his work history. Tonight, new questions about how Congressman-elect George Santos spent his campaign's money. Between June and September, filings show the Santos campaign spent $10,000 in rent for a home on Long Island. The expenditure report said it was for apartment rental for staff, but a neighbor told the New York Times Santos had been living there for months, despite registering to vote at an address in Queens. The campaign spent more than $43,000 on air travel, 30000 on hotels. Those amounts raising eyebrows for someone running to represent a small district on Long Island. His lawyer defended the expenditures as proper, but four different law enforcement agencies are now taking a look. Santos is telling local leaders he will serve out his term and will not run for re-election. The GOP chairman in his district said he wouldn't support Santos anyway, but he expressed no objection to Santos taking office next week. And there really is nothing to stop Santos from becoming a congressman on Tuesday. Though Witt, one of his soon-to-be colleagues, Democrat Richie Torres of New York, said he was going to introduce a bill to make it illegal for candidates to lie on their biographies. Witt, he said he'd call it the Santos Act. 
But that, that will be something to watch, Aaron. Thank you. Turning now to financial news and U.S. stocks closing out the worst year since 2008. The losses driven in part by aggressive interest rate hikes to curb inflation and the war in Ukraine. But analysts note that the economy and the job market are now stronger than during the financial crisis back then. There's still much more news ahead on World News Tonight, including news that several public school districts are reinstating mask mandates, plus new CDC flu numbers. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Lee, and we live in North Pole, Alaska. I'm a retired school counselor. I'm a retired art teacher. We met online about 10 years ago. As I got older, my hearing was not so good, so I, I got hearing aids. My vision was not as good as it used to be. Got a change in prescription, but the thing missing was my memory. I saw a Prevagen commercial, and I thought, that makes sense. I just didn't have to work so hard to remember things. Prevagen. Healthier brain. Better life. For adults with generalized myasthenia gravis, who are positive for acetylcholine receptor antibodies, it may feel like the world is moving without you. But the picture is changing with FibGuard. In a clinical trial, participants achieved improved daily abilities with FibGuard added to their current treatment. And FibGuard helped clinical trial participants achieve reduced muscle weakness. FibGuard may increase the risk of infection. In a clinical study, the most common infections were urinary tract and respiratory tract infections. Tell your doctor if you have a history of infections or if you have symptoms of an infection. Vivgard can cause allergic reactions. The most common side effects include respiratory tract infection, headache, and urinary tract infection. Picture your life in motion with Vivgard, a treatment designed using a fragment of an antibody. Ask your neurologist if Vivgard could be right for you. Next tonight, a California sheriff's deputy killed in the line of duty during a traffic stop is being remembered tonight as dedicated and courageous. Authorities say 32-year-old motorcycle deputy Isaiah Cordero was shot by a driver he pulled over in East L.A. The suspect, a convicted felon with three strikes, was eventually killed in a shootout with police. With COVID cases on the rise, two more New Jersey school districts and Philadelphia's public schools will reportedly reinstate mask mandates in the new year. Plus, new flu infection data from the CDC tonight. The agency estimating there have been 20 million flu-like illnesses this season, 210,000 hospitalizations and 13,000 deaths. They're reminding us to be cautious at gatherings this weekend. When we come back, Times Square preparing for massive crowds on New Year's Eve. We pull people off the street and ask them about their hearts. How's your heart? My heart's pretty good. You sure? How do you know? You're driving a car, you have the check engine light, but yeah. the heart doesn't have a hey, check heart sign. With Cardia Mobile, the FDA cleared personal EKG device, you can take a medical grade EKG in just 30 seconds from anywhere. Cardia Mobile is proven to detect atrial fibrillation, one of the leading causes of stroke. For a limited time only, Cardia Mobile is just $79. Don't wait. Order today on Amazon or CardioMobile.com. Research shows people remember commercials with nostalgia. So to help you remember that Liberty Mutual customizes your home insurance, here's one that'll really take you back. Wow! What'd you get, Ryan? It's customized home insurance from Liberty Mutual. What does it do, bud? It customizes our home insurance so we only pay for what we need. And what did you get, Mike? I got a bike. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Type 2 diabetes? Discover the Ozempic Trizone. Oh, Ozempic. In my Ozempic Trizone, I lowered my A1C, CV risk, and lost some weight. In studies, the majority of people reached an A1C under 7 and maintained it. Ozempic lowers the risk of major cardiovascular events, such as stroke, heart attack, or death, in adults also with known heart disease. And you may lose weight. Adults lost up to 14 pounds. Ozempic isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. Don't share needles or pens or reuse needles. Don't take Ozempic if you or your family ever had medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrineal plasia syndrome type 2 or are allergic to it. Stop Ozempic and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, or an allergic reaction. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Gallbladder problems may occur. Tell your provider about vision problems or changes. Taking Ozempic with a safonal urea or insulin may increase low blood sugar risk. Side effects like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea may lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. Ask your healthcare provider about the Ozempic Trizone. You may pay as little as $25. Peaceful state. 
Full plate. Wait, are you my blind date? Dancing crew, trip for two. Now the final interview. Buy or lease. Masterpiece. Inside joke. Artichoke. Game with Doug. Brand new mug. Come here, kid. Give me a hug. Have you gotten your updated COVID-19 booster? They're designed to help protect against recent Omicron variants. Schedule yours at vaccines.gov. Just between us, you know what's better than mopping? Anything. Ugh. Well, I switched to Swiffer Wet Jet, and it's awesome. It's an all-in-one that absorbs dirt and grime deep inside. And it helps prevent streaks and hay. WetJet is so worth it. Love it or your money back. I'm Steve. I lost 138 pounds in nine months on Golo and taking release. Since taking release, my sleep is way better. My inflammation has gone way down. I'm nonstop now. I feel way better than I did before. I don't sit down in life anymore. To the index now, lotto fever is taking hold, and it could be a very happy new year for whomever is lucky enough to hit the giant Mega Millions jackpot. It's now worth more than 640 million bucks. No one has matched all six numbers for 21 straight drawings. Good luck. New Year's Eve preparations took place in Times Square today with a test run for the Waterford Crystal Ball Drop. Full capacity crowds are allowed this year. About a million people are expected to fill Times Square. When we come back, David Muir with a special message from our team behind the scenes. For just a little bit more, I can get you unlimited minutes, data, and text. Six hotspots, concert coupons, cable subscription, dental cleanings. Do we need all that? Do we need all that? I wouldn't think so. You should use consumer cellular. They have everything you need, nothing you don't. I'll throw in this tiny little fan. Car wash voucher. <laughs> Light up soap dispenser. I think you lost. Get the same coverage as the major carriers at half the cost. Save up to two hundred fifty dollars a year on all the talk, text, and data you need. Consumer Cellular. I brought in Ensure Max Protein with thirty grams of protein. Those who tried me felt more energy in just two weeks. Uh, Here, I'll take that. Ensure Max Protein with thirty grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and nutrients for immune health. The countdown to savings is happening now at Ashley. Hurry into your local Ashley store or visit Ashley.com to ring in the new year with new styles for every room of your home. Plus, get five years special financing. No minimum purchase required. Only at Ashley. Waiting. Sometimes it's just inevitable. But if you're over 50 or live with a chronic condition, untreated COVID could be deadly. Got COVID symptoms? Get tested and get treated right away. It can't wait. Second date. Wish me luck, buddy. Mouth to mission control. We have a denture problem. Over. Roger that. With Polydent Cleanser and Polygrip Adhesive, we're fresh and secure for any close encounter. If your mouth could talk, it would ask for... Polydent and Polygrip. Wake up, we have to leave. Okay. When do we know when this is real? A waterfall? Dad, is there a waterfall? Pour it. Ready to R. <coughs> this cough. <coughs> this will help. Vicks Vapor Rub? Vicks Vapor Rub's medicated vapors go straight to the source of your cough so you can relieve your cough to breathe easier. Vicks Vapor Rub, fast acting cough relief. What will you do? What will you change? Will you make something better? Will you create something entirely new? Our Dell Technologies advisors provide you with the tools and expertise you need to do incredible things. Because we believe there's an innovator in all of us. Ready to shine from the inside out? Say yes to Nature's Bounty Advanced Gummies and Jelly Beans, the number one brand for hair, skin, and nails, with two times more biotin to bring out more of your inner beauty. Get more with Nature's Bounty. New Year. Next at 6, the 911 call from a 1,000 miles away that led to a deadly police chase and shootout on Christmas Eve. And first, they waited for flights. Now they're waiting for refunds. New details for Southwest travelers. And it looks like we'll start 2023 with thunderstorms. See you at 6. Tonight here, I hope you will allow me a moment to say thank you to all of the people behind the scenes who bring you this broadcast every single night here. 
We're definitely a family here. Everyone pours their heart into this newscast in the most challenging of times and in the joyful times too. Tonight, I celebrate them and I thank them. And I thank you for watching at home. From all of us here at World News Tonight, Happy New Year. See you next year. Good night. Southwest planes are back in the air and the apologies are flying too. But what about the thousands of people who are waiting for their money back? We're tracking thunderstorm chances for next week. Some of those could be severe. The latest outlook coming up. He tried to cover the camera, but maybe he should have covered his face. Police are now using this video to try to catch a spray painter who they say tagged homes with racist graffiti. And the Horned Frogs are in Phoenix, TCU, ready to take the national stage for the college football playoff. Live from downtown Dallas, WFAA News at 6 starts now. 
And let's begin with turning an apology into action. Dallas-based Southwest Airlines went from 2,300 flights canceled yesterday to just 43 canceled today. Big progress. And now that those airplanes are back in the air once again, the focus for the airline is getting money back.